This is a follow-up of the video that I posted on Monday where they announced that all these changes were coming. The changes are finally here with a little bit of an extra something. I'm going to give you the rundown of the highlights of everything that you can expect with this update right here. And uh, we have the Halloween event which is uh, kinda interesting. So basically they say that they changed some things around the world, it's hard to notice, I personally have been playing it for quite a while and I haven't noticed anything particularly, because the game already has like this kind of spooky <laughs> theme on itself. It has this rhyme that you are seeing on the screen right now, uh, if you follow these rhymes there's things that you can find in the world and if you post a picture of yourself finding that specific place on your desired region, you're, you're the first one to post this in the region on Twitter, Facebook, uh, the social media, the Discord for Lost of the Fallen, you can basically free a free uh, you can basically win a free copy of the game. Now, the major changes that we are going to have right here, other than that, than the spooky events, the gameplay that you're seeing at the background is regarding the uh, enemy density. So. All throughout the rendition of that gameplay that you have in the background, you are going to see me attacking places where the enemies usually should be, but they are not anymore. Uh, the biggest change I think that I should point out in here is that the elite enemies, uh, they were just way too much. Uh, on the on Pilgrim's Perch specifically, you have many of the penitent penitents that would mob you, that would gangbang you quite a lot of times. Now they don't. There's this specific area where you have one, one knight, one holy knight. While you were fighting that holy knight, you would also have to be fighting the little priest that would be one uh, that would be attacking you from a distance, and then two penitents. The penitents on themselves alone themselves, they are very very much annoying. So that was just more than a real challenge it was annoying now as you can see right here it's just manageable because you have the range enemies and then you have the main enemy right there the, the knight so that's very much appreciated there's the new game plus improvements that we discussed previously basically as you move forward through new game plus there's going to be less and less and less vestiges if you want to go through a regular new game plus uh, or vanilla game there's two options to go to new game plus zero and then going forward from new game plus one two three and beyond it's going to reduce the amount of vestiges that you are going to have. There's been performance and stability, these guys have been working tirelessly right here to make this thing work a little bit better. And yeah, I mean, all of the changes that we have been suffering right here, uh, they are quite good. They do improve the performance of the game, the overall performance of the game. I was able to record all of this uh, thing that I, you're seeing in the background at the highest quality possible without losing any kind of FPS, so that's actually quite nice. One more thing that should be mentioned about the enemy density and the enemy AI is that it also changes depending on whether you are a new game, new game plus, and such. Uh, the AI, what it does is a very welcome change. The enemy no longer pursues you throughout the depths of hell, so you can run past enemies safely without having to kill them, and they are no longer going to mob behind you. So that is very, very welcome, because sometimes you would be tired about an area, and this affects all throughout the, the game. I have played several areas. We know that there are some several annoying areas with lots of enemies, and most of the areas of the game had been tweaked for it to be a little bit more natural, it feels more natural. Now the difficulty, uh, I think that it's on the right path. I know that there's going to be people pissed off because this is basically nerfing the game. The real difficulty on Lords of the Fallen was basically traversing uh, from one area to another. Hello, Demon Souls 2. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's what they did. Now the AI, like I mentioned, no longer follows you, although if you head over to New Game Plus, that's where the real challenge on itself, the real difficulty spike is going to be present. It is no longer only just going to be the vestiges, the sponginess of the enemy having more health and things like that. Now, New Game Plus is going to be the vanilla game. The enemy density is going to be the same as it was on the basic vanilla game. Now that's moved over to New Game Plus. So if you go to New Game Plus, there's going to be more crowded enemies. They are going to be the penitents that they are going to basically mob you. Uh, the elite enemies that uh, should not be all together that much on regular runs of the vanilla game. 
they should be still on New Game Plus, and in New Game Plus, the AI remains unchanged. So the enemy are going to follow you throughout the depths of hell. Again, they are going to mob you if you're playing through New Game Plus. So now it feels like a, just a, the extra challenge for the sadomasochist people that like play New Game Plus. All of that is going to be moved over to New Game Plus. Now let's talk about crossplay. Also proper working crossplay now, thankfully enough. It is still a bit tricky and the cosplay functions in between consoles as well, so you can play PlayStation, PC, Xbox all, all seamlessly, so that's nice. The way it works uh, in between consoles that uh, you cannot add friends, uh, ideally if you're using the same uh, console, what you would want to do, like for example PlayStation, PC and Xbox, uh, PC to PC for example, I would beckon my friends right here and I would beckon directly my friends. If you want to crossplay in between consoles, like for example PC, Xbox, PC, PlayStation, PlayStation, Xbox, what you would do is use the password system. It's still a bit tricky, it still takes quite a bit of attempts, you have to restart the game here and there sometimes, but it, it works. So for example, we have the password right here, if I were to invite someone, the way it works is that you would go here into multiplayer, and then beckon Lambert, this is the host of the world. So if I'm going to be hosting my friends, I would place this thing right here to beckon Lambert. On the other hand, if my friend is going to be the host, what I would do is just select this option right here, accompany Lambert. Uh, they shouldn't be uh, the, the same uh, looking for the matchmaking altogether because they can crash and often leaves you more often than not to problems. So what you ideally want to always do is just uh, use the single one that you're going to be for the specific purpose. This one is for the host and this is for the person that is going to be accompanying the host and that is how it should be working and that is pretty much everything that's how it works those are the changes i think that we're going in the right direction i think that lots of the fallen i am very grateful to the developers for uh at hex works because they have been working tirelessly to make such an amazing game that had issues to become one of the best souls likes that we have right now out there in the market in a record time because usually fixing a game takes quite a while these guys have been posting update after update after update to make the experience that much more enjoyable uh, for us souls junkies so yeah definitely definitely kudos to them let me know what do you think about these changes about these updates about the events about proper working crossplay right now the enemy density and all these changes in the comment section down below and remember to like the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and if no one told you today that you're a gorgeous and beautiful person you're into the gorgeous and beautiful beautiful person i will be seeing you guys and gorgeous and beautiful people in the next one have a beautiful day goodbye